what will it take to act? Whilst politicians are still quibbling about the data day after day, we're bringing you horrific stories of abuse, violence and neglect in the Northern Territory. Today, yet another one. And this time it comes from one of the government's own members. Labor MP Marion Scrimger has detailed another near-death experience. The night before, Declan Laverty was stabbed to death working at a bottle shop in Darwin. She had to intervene in this case in a domestic violence incident because she called the police three times, five times, in fact, and they didn't come. Let's go live to Darwin now. Matt Cunningham joins us live. Marion Scrimger has detailed this incident and she says this woman would have died if she didn't take action. What did she do? Well, she actually called the police commissioner in sheer frustration, Laura, because she couldn't get the police to attend this incident. She said to the police commissioner she was going uh, to post video of the incident on the Northern Territory News website if the police didn't come. Now, this happened here uh, outside the airport tavern uh, in Darwin, the same place where Declan Laverty was killed last month. And this incident happened the night before Declan Laverty was killed. Take a bit of a listen to what Marion Scrimger had to say. It was only matter, about a month ago I was staying at my daughter's place before I flew back to Alice Springs and I witnessed a horrific assault on an Aboriginal woman at the very place where Declan Laverty was stabbed at that service station. Now I rang the police five times that night and they didn't come. So after calling the police five times and getting no response, Marion Scrimger uh, took an action she said most people wouldn't be able to take. If you're just an average punter in the street, you don't have uh, the police commissioner's phone number. But she picked up the phone and she called the police commissioner directly. Unlike most people on the streets, I have the number for the police commissioner. I rang him and said that I would upload that video to the Northern Territory News platform if the police didn't hurry, you know, respond. That woman would have been murdered that night if it hadn't have been for that intervention because the, the, the man was trying to pour petrol on her. Um, now, the, the, he was also trying to smash the window and get the attendant who was terrified inside. Um, but it was a horrific assault. And that was 24 hours before Declan Laverty was stabbed at, the, you know, terribly stabbed at, at that same pub. Laura, we've heard our politicians here in the Northern Territory repeatedly say that there is not a police shortage, that they have enough police officers here in the NT, that that story would appear uh, to contradict those statements. We also know there have been calls for the Australian Federal Police to be sent to help here in the Northern Territory. Matt Patterson, the Mayor of Alice Springs, made those calls in January. Peter Dutton, the Opposition Leader, uh, was making that call again last week when he was in Alice Springs. Here's what Marion Scrimger had to say about whether the AFP should be brought to the Northern Territory to assist. Look, I think that the Northern Territory Police Force does a fantastic job. If they're under-resourced, they need to talk to the federal government. And I know that federally there is discussions between the Northern Territory government and the federal government. You know, it's beyond my pay grade and, and capacity, Matt, but if the Northern Territory Police Force needs that assistance, uh, the Acting Commissioner, who I know does a great job, and there are good men and women in the police force, but if they're overwhelmed, which it's not hard to see why they're overwhelmed, uh, that discussion can happen with the Federal Government. They're not just overwhelmed, uh, Laura. They're in a bit of a crisis at the moment, the Northern Territory Police Force, caught in a legal battle now with the Northern Territory Government. It's 17 days since we first reported that uh, the government had asked the police commissioner, Jamie Chalker, to resign. He's now launched legal action against the government trying to prevent his dismissal. All of that happening while we're seeing uh, violent crime uh, in Darwin, in Alice Springs and across the Northern Territory. Not a great situation up here at the moment. No, it certainly isn't, Matt. Thanks so much for that. Appreciate it.